What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Grind Force Gaming. Nova here with another Street Fighter Duel video. It's been a little bit since I have done a Street Fighter Duel video kind of like this one, uh, but a lot has changed. We have a lot of new fighters in the game and I think that the time is appropriate to really put together a nice comprehensive tier list. We've got Daskat with us today as usual. Daskat, what's going on? How are we all doing guys? What do we have in front of us right now? Tell me about wow. this. Yes, Nova, I am very excited for this because, as you said earlier, there are a lot of new fighters into the game, and we really do need to talk about an overall tier list. And yes. What we're looking at, yeah, what we're going to create here is a tier list kind of based on a couple different categories, and without going into each category with each fighter, essentially, they're generally, like, availability. That's yeah. a huge consideration for how we rank these uh, fighters, uh, as well as uh, general use. Uh, maybe a certain fighter has a gimmick that makes them a grade above another fighter that has similar power. Uh, so those are the types of considerations that we'll be going through as we make this tier list together. Yeah, and availability is definitely a huge one because we're seeing a lot of new fighters come out in the game, but unfortunately they're not really that available to the free-to-play or even the low-spending community within the game. Some of these new fighters are very difficult to get and also only available for a certain amount of time. So it's good in the early game and the mid game to know where to best spend your fodder and where to best spend your time as far as upgrading these fighters go because you want to set yourself up for the end game, right? So it looks like we've already got one fighter allocated. Yeah. And I think and he's a beast. <laughs> I think I think he's up there for a reason already. It's because I mean, right, he's the best like all around fighter in the game. He has one of the, some of the best mechanics in the game. So, you know, Bison's yeah, and, gonna be S. And when we were talking about uh this video before we made it. We were like, okay, where do we put him? DPS, support, tank, he's kind of everything. And we kind of were just like, well, he's an S. Yeah. <laughs> Throw him up there. Yep. Yeah. But then we, we also thought for a second, like, I mean, should we make him an S though? Because he is an Infernal and he's harder to get. But yeah. the thing is, like, you might get lucky and draw him from a regular draw in the early game. You might. Um, but once you beat 1540 in the story chapters, then you're going to have availability to... Uh, do draws in what's called divination and then you can choose the fighter that you want to draw and he's going to be your pick so you're just going to dump whatever gems you've saved up into divination to get bison this is a must do so yeah. as you should as well like uh you need to get bison to ss to unlock his fighter spirit at the bare minimum um that's where you that's what you need to do right as soon as you unlock divination it's the priority it's what you need to do. It's what you should do. Yeah. Um, that's how you play this game. Yeah. So he gets an S for, for that reason. He is the most important. So let's jump into the listing we have down here. We did kind of break them up. I'm just moving my mic back here so I can see a little better. Um, we did break them up. We've got DPS, support, and tank here. Now, some of these fighters do fill multiple roles, uh, but just as a general use case, like these are the, the three primary roles that we have. First one that we have is Viper. And I don't think Daskat's going to disagree with me, but Viper is going to go up an S as well. Yes, she is. Uh, Viper is certainly an S uh, tier character. Um, you see her all over the place in PvP. Yep. She has an a incredible mechanic where she attacks the back line. She's obtainable. Uh, she's everything you want her to be in a DPS character. Uh, C Viper is a clear cut yep. S tier. She's great for her super, great for her C2 and C3, but she's also a great yeah. assist fighter because she will attack every single time the person that she's assisting attacks. So yeah. she will actually jump in and do a combo yeah. and do a combo yeah. as well. So that's really, really, really nice. Um, Chun Li is the next. What do you think about Chun Li? I think Chun Li is an A. Um, okay. You know, I can get she, behind that. Yeah, uh, you know, she she doesn't have quite as much punch or gimmick as somebody like C Viper does. Right. However, I think she is higher than a B because she has really good AoE. She has really good speed. Yep. She can fit on a team with another character we're about to talk about in a, in a little bit, Guile. 
yep. or some armor break mechanic. Um, yep, Cami as with well. A, with Cami, with Flame Chun Li. Yeah. Um, so I think she's just overall has a lot of use case, uh, uh, and she deserves an A. Yeah. Grade. She's kind of versatile in her AOE and her single target damage, but yep. not like not S grade in either category. So. Yeah, it, it, she's a little squishy. If I'm a little being bit, completely honest. yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, next, we have Combat Guile. Yes. What do you think about him? Well, I I'm think... hovering between B and C. <laughs> yeah, you could put him either. I think, I think for early game, if you get a couple copies of him, he's certainly somebody that you could put a little bit of effort into. Yeah. You know, resources uh, for that matter and get some good use out of him. He's got some good AOE attack. Let's put him uh, in B. I, I I have nothing bad to say about a B grade for I combat. used him a lot in the early game and he yeah. and he was very helpful, but you will notice that he will fall off. Yeah, pretty so hard. Building him up a bit if you happen to be getting his copies, like just, you know, regularly in your draws, then there's no harm in building him up a bit in the beginning, but once you get uh, start getting some of the other high DPS fighters, he's going to fall off. Yep. So, so don't put too much into him. Right. Like, don't build him instead of Viper. Correct. You know, as they're different factions, but, you know, the point remains. Um, Cammy, I would put Cammy as an A grade. Yeah. Uh, and the reason being, she does a lot of armor break. And kind of like what I said about Chun Li, she does great. Well, like, I wouldn't say great, but she does decent AoE damage and she does decent single target damage. Cami is focused specifically on single target damage and therefore it's quite good. So she's great against bosses. Great against bosses. And, you know, there is a time and a place where being really good against bosses will benefit you. Uh, but it helps with rewards is... sometimes. Yes, exactly, Nova. Uh, however, I can't, I can't justify an S rating for her. I just can't. No, I can't nope. either. Next is Fashion Blanca. He's going in an S, and look, I oh, know yeah. he's legendary, uh, but everybody gets him for free. You might not oh, have yeah. him now, but if you continue to play and you continue logging in, you will get him for free. You know, uh, I couldn't be higher on this fighter. Yeah. Like, he and Bison, like, he sank Eve, as we're going to talk about in a little while. You know, there's a little spoiler there. Yep. Um. Like, he's just a clear-cut, S-grade character, massive AoE damage. Yep. Um, his burn effect is great. His vehicle stacking is great. Uh, he's, he's, he's a must-have. Uh, yeah. And you will unlock him as a free-to-play player, so his availability is top-notch. And, um, you know, at, what, by the time you do unlock him, you will have another SSS character, so you can attach him as a legendary function operator Correct. with that SSS character and gain instant value. Correct. So I, I, he's just an S all over, like no questions about it. And he, I mean, he's even more ideal because he pairs so well with some of the other high priority fighters in the game, like Dalsim, for example, adding more burn, oh, yeah. adding more flame damage and things like that. Like he's, he's great. He's a, he's he's great. a, he's a phenomenal fighter. I use him all the time. Uh, once you get him, build him. Like, yeah. like no questions. Uh, start trying to get his gear the yes. second you get him. I have all of the gear max for him, and he is a powerhouse. He is a powerhouse. Use him. Next is Guile. Yes. Guile gets oh, an S, too. Oh, yes, he He's does. He's one of the highest he, DPS dealers in the game. It may be even the highest for possibly. regular faction. Yeah, possibly. And he's highly obtainable because you can get him in the shop. You can. So, you have an additional avenue so, to get him using, what is it, City Points? I don't remember which one it is. Is it City Points or um, is it um, the, the, I don't know, but you the Super Showdown the Points? It's one or the other. But yeah. And, and so his availability is higher than most other normal faction fighters. And I, I would argue that he should be your first SSS. If you're playing free to play, just starting the game, look for a Guile. Build Guile, you will be very happy you did. Yeah. Honestly, in the early game and early mid game, before you get Fashion Blanca for free, if you're building Guile and Sea Viper, like you are queuing yourself up to have a very powerful team. Oh, yeah. Very quickly. You so 
you should be doing these things. Yep. Yep. Next is Dalsim. We mentioned him before. Now, we talked about this earlier. Uh, like Dask, I mentioned, we talked about all of this before we started recording, and we had a little bit of a difference of opinion on Dalsim. Yes, yes, we did. Datscat says S. Yeah, I, I do. say A. Ooh. And, and I and say, I, go ahead, you, you go first. I want to hear your S reasoning. Okay, so because he fits on the team with Fashion Blanca, uh, I use him as part of my first team for HWA, which if you are new to the game is a, a, a game type where you have three full teams. Mm -hmm. I use him as part of my first team. I use him in the sh in the showdown and the guild. Yep, Shadowlands. Uh, I, yeah, Shadowlands. Yep, I'm sorry. In the Shadowlands, I use him for in my campaign node. Still, even even though I'm in the level 36 and beyond, like uh, I still use him. He is the my highest rated fighter as far as power level goes in the game, and I have over 20 SSS fighters. Um, That's crazy. You know, I, I I get it, though. I get why you would put him as an A, and I want to hear your justification, because honestly, there's an argument for either. You should build him. You should yeah. build him. You know, you and, should. And, oh, what? Yeah, 100% you should. The reason should I him. keep him in the A is because he's kind of squishy. Even with max yeah. gear, he's going to be the first one on the line to go down, and he has an incredibly powerful C3. Like, that's your use for him. And when he's gone, you know, you revert back to Bison's C3, I guess. The game, if you're playing an auto, it'll pull Bison's C3 to replace him. But I would give him, I give him an A because he's squishy. And really, that's my only reason. I mean, I use him in Campaign. I use him in Showdown. I use him in HWA. I use him in Shadowlands as well. So I use him all the time but it's the squishiness. You know, you're looking at a DPS fighter that deals a ton of damage, but you're also getting that from Guile, and Guile is hard to take down. Uh, I'll say this about Dulcim. Um, I, I throw him, or I use him out of my tag, and recently yeah. within, within the Grindforce Gaming Discord, I was having a conversation with somebody that, that said, uh, you should have him in the main lineup because he'll start doing his passive, just to get some more right. burn damage out there, and I and I get that. Yeah. But I run him with my main squad with B Sangeef out there, and I generally want B Sangeef out there for his speed. Right. So I can get first hit. So his squishiness is kind of negated at that point. That's and, true. That's true. And let's say Fashion Blanca, because he's certainly on my Fashion Blanca burn team. Let's right. say Fashion Blanca ends up becoming eliminated. Having Dalsim come out and using Dalsim super is pretty darn good as well. It is good. So I with think a... I get around his squishiness by putting him through the tag right. and using B Sangeef as the, the speed. Therefore, but you are, you are kind of lessening his damage potential by putting him in the tag, though, because when you do that, yeah. if you have any on-the-field buffing going on, it does not get applied to Dalsim. So yeah. the wildfire that's the wildfire overage that comes from Fashion Blanca doesn't stack on Dalsim. If you're using no. Street Poison in the main lineup and Dalsim's in tag, Dalsim's not getting the crit boost from the C1 on Street Poison. Well, if I'm using Street Poison, I'm probably not using B Sangi. Okay. And then Dalsim's in the main lineup. And then you put Street Poison in the tag. the tag. Yep. Okay. Well. But hey, what do you think? This is why we make this tier list. Right. I, I think he's, he's, he's a character you can't miss on. You should build him. Uh, I, however, I'll put him in S. I w I'll give you right. this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put him in S. I mean, I do use him all the time, but it's just kind of a d the squishiness, right? Like, you, you want fighters that, that can deal damage and take damage. And sometimes True. he can't. Sometimes he just gets nuked. Um, next is MH Ken, and we have a very special uh, row for him. It's the U roll, which stands for uh -huh. unobtainable. And uh -huh. that's because he was part of a collab. We don't even know if he's coming back, but you can't get him anymore. And you could only get him, tru like truthfully, by spending a ton of money. People were, 
people were saying they were spending thousands of dollars to try and max him out. Like, and when I say thousands of dollars, I'm saying like three thousand to five thousand dollars is what I was seeing on YouTube. And that there's ridiculous. No there's ridiculous. still no guarantee that he's going to be maxed if you spend that amount of money. No, it's so. just per chance for a chance at getting him. Um, I have him as an A grade, I think, just for I because I think I had enough like summon tickets or something from the event that I ended up pulling one of him luckily. But I mean, he's not really that usable as an A grade. He's a great fighter. Like, yeah, I wish I had an SSS plus five MH Ken, but I don't, and I never will probably. And so. and this. This is part of the point of availability being one of the categories that we're using to justify these rankings, is yeah. that it ought but his availability, he would be an A or an F. Yeah. Because he's really, really good. But he's but you can't get him. So, so it is what it is. Down at the, down at the lowest uh, row that we have. Right. <laughs> Next is Akuma. Hmm. Akuma's interesting. interesting. He is a he is a special summon hero. He's a banner hero, or a fighter rather. Um, I'm re- He's really good at what he does, though. You know, I'm reluctant to give him more than a B because he's hard to get. He's really hard to get. But if you do focus him as your banner, I th- he might be the best banner fighter available right now. Is yeah, that fair and- to say? By by banner fighter, we mean sp- using the special summon tickets. Yeah, can um, we give him an? From... Can we give him an A? You can go both because he's so good at what he does. He's like the However, better viper. He's like right? the better viper. So if but... you already have viper built, here's the thing. Okay, let's give him an A because if you already have viper built, you would not do wrong by focusing your banner on Akuma as opposed to the other options. So. Okay. That I might validate an A. It. But good with it. he probably deserves a B because he's really hard to get. Yep. Let's let's go that route. Trendy I cami. Agree. Scat, you've got a, a max trendy cami, don't you? Uh yeah, she she's SSS. Uh only one star. Um, but uh she's really good at the boss fights, guys. Like she's Would you one give her an A? Better. Yeah, yeah, okay. she gets an A. Um, because of that niche role. Like, she's the best for boss fights, if you have her built. However, she is Master Faction, which means you need to pull uh, for her through the Divinations. And so we can't give her a higher ranking. I don't know if I would give her a higher ranking, even though I love that I built her. I just, I can't justify a higher rank for her. I feel like A is Um, a great placement for her. I think so. Because if you do build her, you're not going to regret it. No. But, like, she's not going to replace Guile, and Guile's normal faction. Yep. Period. And they're both DPS, so there's the logic there. There you go. Um, Jen, I'd give an A as well. And the reason I I would would do that, you wouldn't? No, I, I was going to say I would too, but I'd give him A with a little bit of a sprinkling on top, you know? Okay. He, he, gets, he gets a little honorable mention in the A category. I think he's a little bit better. I think he fits and, in the B by attainability standards, but I would also say that it's, it's, his, it's his overall kit for me that does it. Hmm. And it's, it's that he has the shadow self that sits on the back line. So that is a direct counter to Viper. It's a direct counter to Akuma. It's a direct counter mm-hmm. to Guy. Uh, his vehicle set makes him like resurrect on just three vehicles, three SSS vehicles, and deal an absolute nuking attack to the lowest HP fighter on the enemy team, which could eliminate them and totally sway a battle into your favor. So it's pretty, it's pretty unique. He's really good and when you get the yeah. fighter choice chests he's in them sometimes so you can get yeah. him in a different avenue that's not drawing i don't know i might give him an s that's why i think he's a with sprinkles on top uh okay. you know i have him at ss just passively okay and i just unlocked his fighter spirit and uh have been using him in the, in the assist uh role um and 
there's a little gimmicky thing happening where his shadow self comes out mm -hmm. and players like Akuma or Guy or Sea Viper will attack that shadow assist as right. the back line. And so that can really save you in some, it gets yeah. you out some hairy situations. It helps um, keep so, damage away from your damage dealer, basically. Yep. Because that's and what Sea Viper is doing. She's coming in the back and nuking the yep. damage dealer. So I think he's A grade with some sprinkles on top. Okay. An A plus he's if no we bison, had that category. You know, you know yeah, he's true. not on the same level as Bison, so I can't true. give him that S grade. But he's A grade with some with some extra oom. I'll agree with that. Poison. Regular poison. It, this is a toss up. I think she's a B fighter, but she has silence. So. Yeah. The silence is an interesting mechanic, but I think I think I think B. she's B fighter with some sprinkles. <laughs> She's, she's sure. got something that other people don't have. But She'd be B plus if we enough. had the category. Yep. Uh, not enough to make it worth it. Mad Ryu's going in B. Yep. Without a doubt. He does great damage. He has an interesting mechanic. It works well in the early game. It seems to fall off in the late game. You don't see a lot of him yep. uh, in PvP. It's not that common. He might make like a third team for people, but you never see him on team one. So, I mean, that's, oh. that says a lot. Jury is kind of the same way too. Same Great thing. DPS fighter, but you know that's all she is. Yep. There's not much more added there. Nope. Um, we talked about guy already. Kind of he he does the same thing as as Sea Viper a little bit. He's attacking the back line, which can be very helpful. Um, but Scott, what do you think? I I think that guy does exactly what Sea Viper does, just not as well. Yeah. Sea uh, Viper is way better. You should build her. They're both standard faction heroes. You know, so if we're going to rank them, B or C, right? You know? I think I, I think he's good enough to give him a B, but I'm going to give him a C, and the reasoning is because as far as, like, using wind fodder faction, he's a low priority. Okay. Like, if you're going to be built, if you have the fodder to build a wind fighter, like, you should be going for Guile, Cami. Chun Li, B Sangeev, no. B Sangeev, even Abel is yeah. is a better yep. choice. So like, oh, he's gonna go in the C. He's in the C. I already put him down there. <laughs> yeah, Yang and Yin, they're gonna go in C as well. They got to work off of each other. They do have good yep. assist skills, but not better than other assist skills that other people have. So I think they're just a low priority, low priority fighter. Doesn't mean that they're not usable. They're just low priority. Vega. Agreed. How about how about Vega? Cool. This was a very hyped fighter. How do you, how do you think that that landed? Um, I I think Vega is a C. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or or a B. Okay. So, okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal with these Master and Infernal. They're they're really strong. They really yeah. really are. But. Why why am I trying to use bleed when I can use burn? Okay. You know? That's fair. And, I and think he has I... a great kit. I th I think it's really interesting and I think it even kind of might work super well with like Adon and Dudley even. But I I agree, but why are we building those other characters? I don't know. You know? I don't they, know. That's a good question. I, I think he's a C. I think he's a C. <laughs> I give Maybe him a C. in future lists we'll bump yeah. him up. I th there's potential here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was pretty excited about him coming out, and I was pretty excited about his kit. I did a, a video previously about him because I I do think that he's good, but it's so conditional. So it's and that's and his availability is yeah. master and infernal divination. So yep. you know I, he's I'm lower gonna, than the rest of them. I'm gonna vote he gets a C, but if you put yeah. him at a B, I get it. I put him in C. I, I'm good with it. I okay. think that's a, a safe spot for him. Okay. How about Evil Ryu? Evil Ryu just came out very recently. Yeah, and I decided, and as I think as you should with these special summon heroes, Akuma, Evil Ryu, so far, um, you got to pick one and you got to go all the way, right? Like, yeah. In between the two, you should probably pick Akuma. I would agree. Um. So I'm going to put him as a B, because he okay. is really strong. His availability sucks. 
Yep. He does have an interesting mechanic, though, where he negates Uh, basically like a resurrection or invincibility mechanics within the game. So he can he can actually because the way that Bison works, if you're you're not familiar, is that he will continue to resurrect once he's dealt Mm -hmm. fatal damage and he will be the last fighter alive on your team. So that's what makes Mm -hmm. him such a good like tank. He's like a hybrid fighter, but as a tank, he's incredible. But Evil Ryu has a special mechanic on his C3, if I remember correctly, where he negates that resurrection or that invincibility mechanic. So he will just eliminate Bison. And he's the and only that, fighter that can do that. And, and that's why I chose to build him, because every now and then I run into a campaign node where there's a M. Bison. Yes. And that's usually a roadblock for me. Right. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go for him. So how about this, Nova? Yep. I'm building him right now. In the future, okay. I will have him max, and I will be readily and ready and willing to bump his grade up. Yeah, but I can't. I can't do it yet. I think B is good for him right now. He's he's a DPS fighter, so he you have to build him. He can't. He's not going yeah. to fun. He's not going to do this mechanic as an A grade. He's going to be too weak. Nope. So nope. you have no choice but to just spend a year trying to build him. Ah. Um, uh, DeCapre. Yeah. DeCapre is going to get a C. She does well with what she does. She does a lot of attacking on the lowest HP fighter. And if it goes well, it's good for you. But it's situational. So yep. I just think that she, she does well for me in the flame tower. But that's not a good enough reason for me to give her a B. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Flame Chun Li. The legendary. Ooh. Legendary. Legendary that you have to buy as well. She's not free like Fashion Blanca. Nope, nope but not that expensive. No. What was it? $30. Something, Something like, like that, that, yeah. So it's not crazy, but if you're strictly free to play, you're not going to get it. Right. And and and, and I hear ya. That might, you. Know, like, that might make her a B. Because yeah. here's, the, here's the thing. She is good. She is good, and she's going to be very highly leveled because Legendary is just attached to another fighter that you choose. You can make her SSS the moment that you get her, or SSS plus five if you have an available fighter for that. But she's maybe, uh, I mean, if you're using Viper in your lineup on a different, like if you're doing multi-tiered, multi-team based things, Viper and Flame Chun-Li are probably the best assisting fighters for Fashion Blanca. So yeah, it might sound a little might sound a little weird to say like this legendary fighter is the best assist fighter for another legendary fighter, but it's just kind of the way that it is, and there's nothing wrong with that. The functionality nope. is great. Um, I use her all the time, um, but I don't think she's an A tier. I just can't put her there yet. No, B is really good slot for her. But she does flame she vulnerability. Do and she does armor break, which is kind of interesting. You can pair her with a flame Ooh. team, and you can pair her with a wind team, because the wind faction you know is doing what? armor break. That might you make might her an A. Talk, you might be talking me into an A. That might she has that might many uses. that might she's a very versatile fighter. Throw in the A. Let's I'll, do that. I'll, I'll put her in the A. That's that's fine. Okay. I'm good with that. Adon C. He's right yeah. next to Vega. They need each other. Basically, I don't see much use for him. Ooh, now we're hitting to the support category. DPS complete. It's a milestone moment. Um, yes. Support. Okay, Street Poison. She's getting an S. Yes, yeah, she is. She's one of the best support fighters in the game. She has AoE healing upon receiving damage, and she's also bolstering with uh, Toxic Love, I believe it's called. She's bolstering the crit damage dealt, and it can stack up to three times. For the entire team, even coming on yeah. the tag. So, like, you know what? It's if crazy. you need damage now, you put her in. Yep. Period. Yeah. But it is something to note, and I did mention this earlier. If you have her in your main lineup, her toxic love stacks will not stack on the person in the tag position. So if you are, in fact, using Dalsim, let's say, in, in the tag to keep him alive, he is not going to be getting any of that crit damage increase. So just keep that in mind. So I don't think that you necessarily need to build her up too much. But as an SS, she's quite good. I mean, she's even good as an A grade. Yep. When you need damage and you need damage now, you put her in. 
and that's something to to make note of too because some of these fighters some of these support fighters that are functioning off of a c1 skill that's doing team buffing some of them are so good because they're good at an a grade you need one copy of them because what they're doing is not based on their stats whatsoever she's boosting 30 percent crit damage regardless of her grade if she's in the tag she'll stay alive and, and you maybe get that you boost. only need her to go off once yeah you know? very true um she's awesome street poison is sweet she's yeah a, she's an ass street Elena. poison is sweet that's too many s's not to put her yeah the S. agreed <laughs> elena gets an s too you're using her for her c1 heal but unlike street poison you do need to level her because her healing is based on her hp and her yeah. defensive boosting is based on her defense. So she needs you know, to be leveled. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future Crunchyroll releases uh, a fighter that does healing a little bit better than she uh, does. But that hasn't happened yet. Yep. So for this tier list, in the uh, middle of the summer, middle of June, yep. in 2023, Elena is an ass. Um, She's the best healer in the game currently. But- what it is with the second best probably being rose um yeah but rose is a divination pull she's a master class i would give her i mean she's better than jury right so we got to give her an a she's an a um she's she's a phenomenal support she might be your second option after bison yep that or jen yeah and then Following those two, probably Trendy Cami, I would think, as for divination pulls. Okay, for ordering. Yeah, Rose yeah, is great. She's doing. Cammy, oh, go ahead. I think Trendy Cami is only like, like you're kind of bored and you want to do something really fun for yourself. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, that's you, part of the game, right? You don't always have to optimize. Bet. If there's you a fighter you bet. just like, just just do it. Just use them. Just do it. Um, but anyway, I think going back to Rose here. Uh, what she does, she does really well. Yeah. And she's doing uh, healing. She she's doing team buffing. She's doing enemy team debuffing. Yeah. She does, she does, does decent damage too. I mean, she's great. She Sakura. Does too much not, to, not to put it up there. Or fashion Sakura, rather. I, yep. Honestly, I kind of want to put her in the U category for unobtainable. I wish there was a second U, U, U minus category because I would put her there. Yeah. Because for 50 bucks, Oh, she's a hundred bucks. Now she's a hundred bucks, but fifty bucks when I started playing the game. Like, why? Yeah. Why? There's no justification. There's no answer for that. No. Other than I just had fifty bucks laying around and felt like spending it on this game. If you have her, you're likely a whale. Like, I don't want to put that label on it because plenty of people have her, and maybe that's the only money that they spent. But I don't have her. I'm never gonna get her. That makes that you, that I makes that would, unattainable. I think you are better spending fifty dollars by buying the travel perk a couple times. That's oh, a for the way gems. better. It's a way better expenditure of that amount of money. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. All right. How about athlete Chun Li? She's, she's really cool. relatively new. She's really cool. I think she's better than people think she is. I think the same. I think I think we're kind of yet to see her really in action. She's doing uh, damage increases. She's doing defense boosting. She's doing damage reduction. She's doing projectile blocking. Like, yeah. I'm going to put her as an A. I think she's awesome. And I, I am, think she's an A. a and I am awesome. excited to start working on her because I think the combination, she's basically like, I mean, she's basically like a combination of E-Honda, because she's blocking projectiles, and Zangief, because she's doing huge damage reduction based on certain factions. The only difference is that Zangief is doing that damage reduction for anyone on his team, and she's only doing that damage reduction through her fighting spirit skill for wind and master faction. So she's very, like, classified. But then again, she's also a master faction fighter, so she's harder to get. I think she's I think awesome. She's, I think she is an A minus. That's where I would okay. slot her if I could. Okay. But well, she's better than a B. You know what I mean? She's, she's better, better than, than a, B. a B. She's better than a B. All right. Um, Fei Long. I mean, what? 
B or C. B or C. His only real use is is his C one, and as a as an assist fighter because he bolsters the amount of damage done by both flame and burn. Here, let me try to justify him as a B. Okay. Um, he will forever. It. He will yeah. He will forever be uh, used as an assist fighter for my burn team. Like yeah. he has to. Um, I mean, there's value way, there. It's way too good. It's there's value good there. And you only need to level him to SS, and you only need yep. his fighting spirit to be level five. So he's a yep. very low cost assist fighter. I would put him at a B. I think oh, he's uh, okay. I agree. I think he he has a really good slot. Yeah. Summer Yang, also new, came out at the same time as Athlete Chun Li. He gets an S. He is exactly what the Flame Team needed, and there's not a fighter like that for the Flame Team doing yep. shielding. Uh, he's just an incredible support fighter. He can function on any team with his shielding. He's basically able, right, but for the fire team. If he was a different faction, I wouldn't put him as an S, but because yeah. he functions as the Flame faction, yeah. he, he gets an S. That's definitely and fair to say. If he were Thunder, he would not be an S. Nope, he might even be a B if he were Thunder, but yeah. he's not. He's doing the thing that the Flame team needed. Yep. And Agreed. he's the only one doing it. He's an S. Ooh, how about Dante? Unobtainable. I think he goes right in there. <laughs> yep. Not only was he a limited time uh, collab, but he also wasn't even good. So nope. yeah, enough said. can't get him now. Don't need to get him. Won't ever get Moving him. Moving on. Blanca. What do you think? C? Yeah. He's C? okay. Nice for the C1. You can potentially get an interrupt. He does some shock. He has a little bit of control there. But if you're looking for a C1 fighter, you've got plenty of other options. You bet. Tanks, BZ, Scat, what do you think about that? Oh, well, he's a clear-cut ass. Uh, he's, he might be the most important fighter for the, uh, a new account to build. Yeah. Like, Guile, BZ, that Sea Viper, Elena, these are the people you're building when you start the game. Yep, and BZ has a very interesting mechanic that we haven't talked about yet, and that's Interrupt. Yep. So if you time his C2 skill perfectly with the enemy team's skill combo either starting or midway through it he will go in and do his b spin and he can actually interrupt the combo chain which will actually stop the enemy from doing their combo altogether i i don't think i could beat any of the campaign nodes that i'm currently on without b sangeev yeah i mean this has been true he is a must so many chapters for me at this point He's he a must. Is you have a that. Must. He will allow you he to punch up. Important. He will allow you to punch up very high in the story chapters and in uh, Supreme Fist in the tower as well. Because if you can negate the enemy's combos, they're not dealing any damage to you really, and you can just you can just slowly beat them down, even when they're a much higher power level than you. Like I'm punching up in the story chapters right now, like three times my power because of that. It's awesome. Yep. DJ, he's the best. DJ gets a C. Awesome. DJ gets a C. <laughs> DJ gets a C. Charming Dudley. Honestly, I'd give um, him. A, I'd give him a B. I don't know, man. I'd give him a B. The reason I would is because okay, hear me out here. He ain't no poison. That that's mm -hmm. the that's my point. Okay, that's fair. He has an interesting mechanic where when he first enters the game, he deals a punch to the, the first fighter on the enemy team. That could potentially nuke a fighter right off the bat. And the reason I think he deserves a B position is because in the early and in the mid game, he's not going to be on your first team, right? But if you're playing Super Showdown and you have three teams, team one type uh, fights team one, team two fights team two, and team three fights team three. Now, you're going to be fighting against people that don't have three fully maxed teams. I mean, I don't even have three fully maxed teams. He could, and team two or team three, eliminate a fighter from the enemy's team immediately. And that could sway that into your, like you getting the victory overall. I think that gives him a B. I think it gives him a C plus. I mean, you still have to build him. I mean, yeah, you still have to build him, right? Because it's a damaged situation. So he needs to have a high attack. 
but I think I he's give him a, a C plus, but uh, he's better than DJ. You know, he's better than DJ. Okay. How about E Honda? Oh, E Honda's sweet. E Honda's an um, S. I think he's an A. You think he's an A? I think he's an A. He's no B Sangeet. Okay, that's look fair. At, look at the other S characters we have up there. Yeah. Like, well, E Honda does isn't... do interrupt, so he's a great, great fighter for a second team. Only. The interrupt is only truly useful if the person, the enemy team's combo starter, is the first player, the first character in their lineup. Yeah, or, well, I mean, or second or third, I guess. The, I the, pers- the first he's... person in line has to do a combo for him to interrupt it. That is true. I think he is an A+. plus. Okay. I and... just don't think he transcends to the S tier. I really okay. don't. He's an A with, uh, with some Mike Tyson vibes. He, he's got some <laughs> face tattoos. The face tattoos. Um, <laughs> Dudley, C. Yeah, he's got cool some that. stun on C one. Cool. He's kind of cool, but Mayor Cody, okay. C as well. Maybe a B if you're thinking about his assist skill. He's got some good burn too. Yeah, he's got but... some good burn. Let's give him a B. Okay. Let's give. I'm him not going to mince mince my potatoes over this. So. No. Ooh, how about how about T Hawk? Oh, I already put him at the U, but Oh you you for unusable in this case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is uh, true. I don't know. That C, is true. Okay. C or U. I'm gonna leave him in U. Nobody I use him for fodder. That's what I use him for. <laughs> Ooh, um man. Abel. I would give Abel an A. Yeah, I think he's an A. Um, there are certain fights where I was only able to beat the level in campaign nodes because I had an able. Yeah, same. But he's not as good as the other characters we have in the S. He's not an S. He's like an no. A+. Plus. And he's honestly... Like an, he's like somebody you should build, but later on in the game when you're like, yeah. oh man, I have a need. I would say he's build. not even as good of, a, as good of an option as, as, um, as Rose. I mean, they're going to sit in the same category here. I mean, obviously, there's a ranking within a category for sure. But what makes Abel good as his C1 is that the shielding blocks two hits, regardless of the damage. Yep. That can be huge. And that's as an A grade. You can use him as an A grade. That pairs very like well with in, BZ. Very well. I also like him in the assist position. He does He's very cool. well in the assist position. Mine's an A+. Plus. He's an A. He's an uh, A+. I think Abel is an A yeah. row character. 100%. Agreed. I use him as an A plus grade often, yeah. often. Uh, and I would like to build him more. Zangief, what do you think? I think he's a B or an A. I think he's a solid B plus. Yeah. Could be an A. Could People a. have really only just started utilizing him. I think he kind of fell by the wayside. But he's quite good. This? Yeah. We do Zangief as a B dot dot dot. Yeah, to be determined. I, I, I think there's more to this character than anybody thinks, and I think he's just starting to uh, get his day in the Right. Scene. And so, he, but, he might do very well with Athlete Chun Li. But yeah. she's very new. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't I don't know that people have really tested that out yet. So, but well, this could be let's something. Put him at the B, but we're going to come back to him in future tier videos, 100%. Yeah. Fair. All right. Makoto. See, I mean, some people had an argument for her yeah. early on. Uh, uh, I just don't see it. She has AoE um, stun, okay, which, is, cool. which is pretty cool. Um, but I just don't think that you're going to be using that over something else. That's on her C2 skill. You're also getting AoE stun from BZ on his C2 skill. So. There's you that. should use BZ. Hugo. Okay. Unusable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't no, know. He has you. some shielding. All he right, rounds things that. out, I guess. Okay. Nobody's using them. You're never going to see him um, in PvP. I don't know. Um, and and, and to, to end this list, I wanted to talk about Sagat. Okay. He just got released in the game. Again, this tier list is being made mid, uh, mid-June, mid mid to late June. Uh, Sagat just got released. Yep. Um, we're not putting him on this list because 
I want to see more um, testing done with him. Yeah. And I'm currently trying to build him. I think he'll probably land as an A. I really do. I think he's really, really good. I think he is um, a great addition to the Shock team. Like, not the uh, Thunder yeah. team, but a Shock team, a Shock-based team. Correct. Uh, how about this? Stay tuned. Yeah, stay, stay tuned, tuned for, for Sagat. Fu- we don't have a uh, card here for him, but yeah, he's brand new. Brand, brand new. The event is still going on at the time of this video. Yep. So anyway, what I think we're going to do now that we have this tier list done is we're going to make another video here coming soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be um, a team composition list based on this ranking. Okay, if we yeah. decide to make any changes to this, we will definitely do an update on that at the beginning of that video. But what we want to do is try to put together an ideal three-team list, including the assisting fighters, if we can comprehensively put that together, uh, just to try to help you guys build up the correct three best teams that you can have, because you need three teams for Super Showdown in the arena, you need three teams for HWA, and as the campaign progresses, you eventually need to have two teams for it, and then you need to have three teams. So this is going to help plan you know, for the future of your account's progression. And HWA is a lot of fun. HWA is awesome. Yeah, I love it. I love HWA. So anyway, guys, that's going to conclude the video. Stay tuned for that new video that I just mentioned coming out. We're going to be doing the one about three different teams. Once that's up, you know, we'll be sure to let you guys know. We have a Discord channel. You can find the link in our bio here. We'll also have it in the description here for you to find out. We post our videos in there. We talk about the game all the time. We'd love to have you join. So hopefully we'll chat with you guys soon. If you found value in this tier list, please hit the like and subscribe button. We would truly appreciate it. Definitely subscribe. We are just starting out as of a few months ago. The account's been growing a lot. We love having you guys on board with this. Can't wait to share more. Cheers. Cheers.